Hello marketers, thanks for checking out another video from How to Webmaster. My name is Leon and today I am reviewing layered pop-ups. And I've used a lot of plugins, tools out there for opt-ins, lead gens, and by far layered pop-ups is the best WordPress plugin I've ever used. And there are a lot of choices out there, but when it came down to features, I needed something that can split test opt-in forms and pop-ups and a bunch of integrations with all the top autoresponders and so layered pop-ups has everything I need and it is one of the cheapest as well $21 as of today they have great customer support over 14,000 sales five stars so what is layered pop-ups it is a WordPress plugin that will display pop-ups, beautiful pop-ups which you can easily customize with your own text and images and they have already a wide variety of templates you can use. So you can do things like onload pop-ups, exit, on scroll just a lot of features but again the most important thing I was looking for is the split test the AB split test and the purpose of the split test is so I can use different types of pop-ups to see which one will perform the best and that's the whole idea behind the split test and layered pop-ups makes it super easy to create pop-ups and make the split test with very nicely done, a lot of features. So let's look at some demos of what the pop-ups look like. And you can come here and see and try out the demos yourself. The link is in the description below this video. You click on live preview and you arrive at this page here and just click on whatever you want. So let's try this one. And that's how the pop-ups look. And you can make it appear from the top, the left, the right. It does, so it doesn't always have to be from the center. And it just works perfectly. And it works in mobile browsers as well for your phone and tablets. So let's try one more example. And besides the pop-up, it can also do inline. So you can display these forms inside of your WordPress post or pages so it doesn't have to show as a pop-up you can put this directly inside of the content these are the templates you get for free with your layered pop-ups purchase so here's inside of my dashboard where I already have layered pop-ups installed and if you go to the pop-ups library these are all of the templates free templates you can news so they have quite a bit of selections for you including some holidays ones such as Halloween and so these ones you have to download and import the pop-up before you can create a pop-up with them so let's try the this Halloween one just for fun so you click on download and import And after it has been successfully imported, it will show up here in your list of pop-ups. And it says blocked because it's not shown right now, so it's not enabled. So that's what it means by blocked. And then you can cl click on edit pop-up. So I'll just quickly show you how to customize the pop-ups. So there's no coding required you just click on whatever you want to edit and then click here so let's just type in something really fast and there it shows up right away and you can move things around and change the images uh, customize pretty much everything so once I use a template I usually don't customize too much since it's already um, pretty good looking already 
and then you can customize or integrate your autoresponders uh, rename the pop-up so there's a lot of things you can do to make your pop-up so that's basically the overview of creating a pop-up now let's talk about the most important feature the a B uh, testing the split testing so here are some of my uh, split tests I've already made and I've created several split tests some uh, so this one for example is targeted towards mobile users so that it'll pop up something specific for them and then desktop users and I have others uh, for mobile and split for mobile and desktop as well and as you can see my mobile I get more traffic for in this site for mobile users compared with the desktop so this is very important because it shows you type of traffic you're getting and the opt-in for mobile versus desktop so you can split test a lot of things so let's look at the stats for example how it looks so right now for this split test I have two pop-ups one is called the video transparent which you can rename whatever you want it's a video uh, pop-up with an opt-in form and this one has a white background with an ebook a free ebook so this one's video uh, display in a pop-up this one is an image of an ebook in the pop-up so which one performs better as you can see here the video is 13% conversion rate compared with almost 12% for the ebook image and let's check out another example so if I've already optimized these uh, these split tests so let's look at another example so this one performs three times higher than this one than this pop-up so that's why split testing is so important because you want to squeeze the most out of your traffic okay let's look at how to create a split test click on create new campaign I'm just going to call this test a B and then here are the list of the pop-ups that you've created and I'm going to select just a few as an example so you can split test things like if you want to rename this to home page or a certain squeeze page lead gen page or whatever page or mobile traffic so it's up to you you can split test a lot of things and once you have it created, click go back to the A B campaigns and it shows up here. Test A B, that's what I just created. There's four pop-ups. Okay, now to display or show your pop-up on the website, you go to targeting right here, and you will arrive at this page. And now there are several options to choose from on how to show the pop-up either on load on scroll, on exit, on inactivity, etc. Now let's create a new target and you can choose uh, the pop-ups for desktop or for mobile devices and you can use the same ones for both if you want and up here are the pop-ups that you've created and down here are the A B split tests. And this is the one I've just made. Test A B. And again, I can use the same one for both. Or if you want specifically for different types of traffic, you can select uh, whichever you want. And how often to show this pop up? This on scroll pop up every time once per session once per five days only one time so I'll just leave it at every time for now set scrolling offset so they scroll if the visitor scrolls more than 600 pixels then this pop-up will show you can also do percentage let's do 200 pixels so that means uh, the visitor is gonna show a little bit interest in scrolling through the website and then I'm gonna show the pop-up to the interested visitor. When to display the pop-up, 
either you can set like a time schedule it or just leave it as always and you can show the pop-up to certain kinds of users like all visitors administrators only subscribers only author contributor so that's up to you right now it's default as all everybody will see it where to display the pop-up you can do site-wide a specific post page blocks portfolio so I'm gonna leave it at site-wide and when you save target it will appear here okay so here it is test a B it will show for desktop and mobile so active targets mean that it is enabled and if I move it down here to passive targets that means it is now paused or disabled and that's how easy it is to set up a split test so that's the basic overview of how to use layer pop-ups with the split test and what it looks like and how it can improve your opt-in rates conversion rates okay that's all for this layered pop-up review let me know if you guys have any questions and if you're interested in checking out layered pop-ups i appreciate it if you can get layered pop-ups through my affiliate links below this video it'll help me out a lot for making these review videos thanks again for watching and until next time happy marketing